need for transport inside the body. Every organ system in our body requires the involvement of the circulatory body fluids. Here some examples of organ systems are endocrine system, digestive system, respiratory system, excretory system, etc. These all organ systems produces different types of substances. Example, endocrine system. Here you can see in this picture endocrine system. Endocrine cells are producing hormones. These hormones directly poured into the blood. Then through the blood it will reach the targeted organ. Every substances and all substances produced from organ system that will reaches the required area only through circulatory body fluids. That's why transport of substances happens only through body fluids. These body fluids, without body fluids, substances will not transfer, transfer from one area to another. That's why for the proper metabolic activities, need for transport is very essential in our body. Fluids in our body. There are two main types of fluids in our body. Circulating fluids and non-circulating fluids. What is circulating fluids? Circulating fluids are the fluids that would circulate throughout the body. Then there are three types of fluids are there, circulating fluids are there. First one blood, then tissue fluid, last one lymph. Then where you can see blood, blood you can see in the heart, in the blood vessels. Then do you know what are the different types of blood vessels? Yes, that is arteries, veins and capillaries. Then the next one tissue fluid tissue fluid you can see between the cells you can see between the cells between the tissues in the organs then here other one lymph lymph you can see within lymph vessels and lymphatic organs these all you will study later then some examples of uh, Lymphatic organs are spleen, tonsils, etc. Then, the another type of fluid is non-circulating fluids. What is the meaning of that? In the name itself, it is there. Non-circulating means the fluids will not circulate throughout the body. It will be is, uh, in particular area. Example, synovial fluid. Synovial flu fluid, you can see only in the cavities of skeletal joints. Then that we can see only in a particular area. Then another one is vitreous humor. Vitreous humor also you can see in a particular area. That means uh, it is, you can see only in the eye. That's why non-circulating fluids we can see only in a particular area it will not circulate throughout the body examples you have to know uh, first one synovial fluid the another one vitreous humor then where you can see this the location also very important then you will think why i am underlining this all words because while writing the location, you have to include propositions. That means in the heart, in the blood vessel, between the cells. If you are not writing this proposition while writing biology examination, especially in ICC, then they will not give mark. That's why you have to mention this proposition while writing the location. Here also in the cavities of skeletal joints. Where is the location of xylophil fluid? Where is the location of vitreous humor? In the eye.
blood circulatory system. There are two different types of blood circulatory systems. Closed blood circulatory system and open blood circulatory system. Closed blood circulatory system means blood circulate in closed manner. That means here you can see in the picture it is blood circulate only through blood vessels. If blood circulate only through blood vessels then that we can say closed blood circulatory system. This type of system you can see in higher animals such as mammals. Then all of you know that human being is a mammal. Then in our body also is blood circulate in a closed manner. That means through blood vessels. Blood circulate through blood vessels. The another one is open blood circulatory system. This you can see in small organisms such as insects. Here blood flows from the heart to the body spaces without vessels. That means in insects there is no blood vessels. Blood flows from the heart to the body spaces. That means without blood vessels blood circulates then that's why that we call it as open blood circulatory system. But in closed blood circulatory system, blood passes only through blood vessels or blood circulate only through blood vessels. That's why that is called closed blood circulatory system. The blood. What is blood? Blood is a circulating fluid. What are the features of characteristic features of blood? Blood is never stationary. It is always in motion. It will flow. From where it will flow? It will flow from the heart to the arteries. That means who will take blood from the heart. Arteries will take blood from the heart. Who will pour blood into the heart? Veins will pour blood into the heart. Then blood never stationary. It always in motion. The next feature, next characteristic feature is its color. It is bright red in artery and dark red in vein. Arteries we can see blood is in bright red color and in veins it is dark red. Then the next one volume. Volume is 5 to 6 liters of blood. 5 to 6 liters of blood present in an adult human. Adult human has 5 to 6 liters of blood. Yeah. Then next one, taste. What is the taste of blood? The taste of blood is saltish. It is alkaline. Alkaline means its pH is above 7. Here 7.3 to 7.45. The pH of blood is 7.3 to 7.45. Then the taste is saltish and it is slightly alkaline. And pH is 7.3 to 7.45. The volume is 5.6 liters. And what is the color of blood? Color is bright red in artery and dark red in vein. Then it never stationary. These are the characteristic features of blood. Functions of blood. There are mainly two functions are there. Transport and protection. First we can discuss about transport. There are different substances transport through blood. 
let us discuss about that digested food first one digested food digested food like glucose amino acids vitamins minerals etc transported through our through blood then the other one oxygen oxygen how we will get oxygen in our body through lungs oxygen will enter in our body and it will transfer into capillaries and through the capillaries it will enter in blood stream then we know that blood consists of rbc red blood cells are there these red blood cells have the capacity to carry oxygen hemoglobin this hemoglobin is a red pigment present in rbc this hemoglobin have the capacity the capacity to carry or combine with oxygen then what what will form when oxygen combine with hemoglobin to form oxyhemoglobin this oxyhemoglobin is an unstable compound wherever it required it will release that oxygen hemoglobin will release the oxygen in that particular is area that means based on the need neediness it will transfer transport of carbon dioxide this is one of the main function of blood where carbon dioxide is produced carbon dioxide is produced in the cells due to cellular respiration then from the cells it will reaches the blood stream then through the blood it will reaches the lungs here carbon dioxide combined with hemoglobin where hemoglobin is present it is present in the rbc red blood cells then hemoglobin combined with carbon dioxide to form an unstable compound called carbamino hemoglobin all of you know that oxygen combined with hemoglobin to produce oxyhemoglobin then the other one other unstable compound that is carbamino hemoglobin carbamino hemoglobin is produced by the combination of carbon dioxide and hemoglobin then the remaining carbon dioxide is dissolved in blood plasma then what is blood plasma blood plasma is a liquid content present in blood then where uh, you can see carbon dioxide in blood stream you can see carbon dioxide in rbc and in blood plasma it is in blood plasma it is in dissolved form then what are the two unstable compound present in blood one is carbamino hemoglobin another one is oxyhemoglobin transport of excretory material distribution of hormones distribution of heat these are the other functions of blood first we can go through transport of excretory material excretory material produced in the liver from the liver it will reaches the kidney or skin for elimination the next one distribution of hormones hormones are produced by endocrine glands then it will directly pour into the blood finally it reaches the targeted organ the next one distribution of heat blood helps in keeping the temperature of the body in a uniform manner protection by blood coming under this blood clot 
engulfing bacteria or phagocytosis produces antitoxins and antibodies. These are the main functions coming under protection by blood. First, we can go through blood clot. Blood clot helps to prevent further loss of blood if there is a cut or injury. All of you know that if there is a cut or injury, within few minutes, blood will clot. You can see in this picture. Then the another function, engulfing bacteria or phagocytosis. What is the meaning of phagocytosis? Phagocytosis means engulfing bacteria. If any bacteria or germs enter in our body, then these white blood cells, WBCs, present in blood, it will protect the body from diseases. That means white blood cells have the capacity to engulf bacteria. You can see the, in this picture white blood cells how it is engulfing the bacteria. It means is it will eat the bacteria. While writing you don't try to eat the bacteria. You have to use technical terms engulfing the bacteria. Then white blood cells engulfing the bacteria that engulfing bacteria that process we call it as phagocytosis. Then white blood cells protect the body from diseases by phagocytosis. The next one produces antitoxins and antibodies. These antitoxins and antibodies neutralizes the poisonous substances and kill the germs. Then who is responsible for the production of antitoxins and antibodies? Of course, that is white blood cells. White blood cells produces antitoxins and antibodies when there is uh, any poisonous substance enter in our body or any germs or bacteria or virus enter in our body. It will produce antibodies and in that way, it will protect our body. The next one, provision. In that exam based questions and answers we are discussing. How the answers uh, should write in examination, in which a pattern the questions will come. We are uh, discussing some of the questions from these topics. Write the location of the following. Blood in the heart, lymph, tonsils, spleen, etc. Tissue fluid, spaces between the cells and tissues. Synovial fluid, in the cavities of skeletal joints. Vitreous humor, in the eye. Answer the following. Two unstable compounds present in the blood. Oxyhemoglobin and carbaminohemoglobin. Two functions of blood. Transport by blood. Protection by blood. You have to explain these two briefly. One point is enough for each. Two types of circulatory system. Open circulatory system and closed circulatory system. Name two circulatory fluids. There are three fluids. Circulatory fluids are there. Blood, lymph and tissue fluids. In that, any two you can write. Name two non-circulatory fluids. Synovial fluid, vitreous humor. Two lymphatic organs. Spleen, tonsils. Name any four substances transported by blood. Any four substances you can write in that carbon dioxide, oxygen, vitamins, proteins, then hormones. In that any four you can write. Thank you children. Have a good day.